Welcome back to part 18, our final week of blocks for this Tunisian crochet along. So we'll be working block 69, 70, 71, and 72. For block 69, you will want to count, you will join in back on top of the horizontal line on top of block 63 and 64. Join in back, picking up 30 loops across, making your connection for 32 loops on your hook. This block will be using some cables again, two knit stitches over two purl stitches. Um, we'll have knit stitches, purl stitches throughout with some of the Tunisian simple stitch. So you're just going to follow this chart along working all 12 rows and make your bind off row at the end of this block. Then you will want to join in back at the top of block 69, picking up the 30 loops across for 32 loops on your hook and working the three rows of the horizontal line and binding off after that. Then you will want to count over 13 loops and place a marker, count over to the 17th loop and place a marker for the vertical line. Joining at that first marker, we will pick up loops in behind, picking up 13 loops, making the connection for 15 loops on our hook to start block 70. Block 70 will be 27 rows. There's a lot of different stitches that we have used previously found in this block. So the simple stitch and the purl stitch, knit stitch, then the twisted knit stitch, and if you forget how to do that, please look back at previous blogs for that. This little symbol, remember we work into the open space to pull up a loop. We have two togethers. We have the two together chain one or the chain one two together and two cables as well, the one over one stitch cables. And then just a reminder of this stitch where we work that sort of bobble stitch or the three Tunisian double stitch in one stitch. And in the written pattern, the link is provided for a reminder video of how to work that stitch. So you've picked up your loops across for 15 loops on your hook. You'll work the regular return pass and then just following the chart carefully with those various stitches to complete the 27 rows and binding off at the end of this block. Then you'll want to join at our second marker and working over top of the bind off stitches, you will pick up the four loops across, make your connection for six loops on your hook and work the 27 rows for the vertical line. Do not bind off. Then coming back down to the edge of your blanket, you will join behind the horizontal line, picking up the 13 loops, making your connection for 15 loops on your hook to begin block 71. Block 71 is a combination of many of the stitches we've used again. Tunisian simple stitch, the purl stitch, the knit stitch, picking up a loop into the open space. We are going to be making these three together stitches where you pull through three loops and then you'll work on top of those to pick up on top of that cluster to pick up a loop. Two together stitches, two together chain one, chain one, two together. Remember this symbol represents a chain. So you're going to work the four rows of simple stitch first. Then on row five, you'll start with some knit stitches and then be careful in the return pass to work two together, chain one, pull off a loop, chain one, two together. And then as you work row six, you will insert your hook under that two together to pick up the next loop and picking up in the chain spaces there. Okay, so just watching very carefully, a lot of action happens in the return pass for this chart as well. So just watch for that as you work your way through. 
and make sure you bind off at the end of block 71. Then we will join in back block 71, picking up the 13 loops across that block. We will pick up the four loops of the vertical line and 13 loops across block 70, make our connection for 32 loops on our hook and work the three rows of the horizontal line and binding off at the end. You will join in back behind that on the far edge of that horizontal line that we just worked and picking up 30 loops across, make the connection for 32 loops on our hook to begin block 72, our final block for this crochet along. And again, this block is a combination of many of the stitches that we have used throughout. Simple stitch, purl stitch, knit stitch, the twisted knit stitch into the open space, that bobble stitch again, TSS under the two together and the three together, a chain, we'll work those two togethers with chains, and then a reminder of this stitch where we have a chain, we pull off the three loops for three together, and another chain, and we have two different cables, one over two stitches or one over one stitches. So again, follow the 27 rows of this chart very carefully as you work your way through all these various stitches for this unique design. And then make sure you bind off at the end of block 71. And congratulations, you made it through learning many different techniques and stitches for Tunisian crochet. Next week, you will have your options for borders to complete this design. So well done and good luck. Until next time.